Hello and welcome back to thatictsite.com. Uh, your video today is going to be how to configure your phone to remotely access your PC. So um, what we're going to do is use an Android 2.3 gingerbread Samsung Galaxy S2 phone to connect to our PC and operate the PC remotely. So there are several stages. The first one, we need to open a hole in our firewall for port 22 on our router. Open up a hole in our Windows firewall for port 22. Install an SSH server, Mobo SSH. Install a VNC server on your PC, type VNC. Uh, install ConnectBot and Android VNC on your phone. Configure ConnectBot and Android VNC and connect. And away we go. There is one part that I'm not actually going to show you on this video, and that's how to install your VNC server. It really is very, very simple. It's a case of downloading it from the um, programmer's website. Uh, type VNC works brilliantly. It's just a next, next finish, and you can apply a password to it if you want to, and I'll show you where to use that password later on. So the first job uh, is to allow the uh, SSH um, protocol through our firewall. So what you need to do is, uh, is go to your web browser, log into your um, external router. In my case, it's 192.168.100.1. It's a Sky router. Uh, this process will be similar uh, for different routers, but you know this is a specific procedure for this one. Um, there we go. We'll go into security. It'll ask for the username and password. Yours might be slightly different to this. We click OK because I've got them stored. We need to go to firewall rules, and then we need to add a rule. OK. We want to select SSH because that's the protocol that we're dealing with. And then we want to always allow, although you could allow by schedule, and we want to send it to the LAN server. So this is the IP address of the machine that we want to access. So 192.168.100.3 in my case. Log, I want to always log it so I can see uh, if anybody's been in other than me. And then click apply. And that, my friends, is about it. Log out and we are done for that section. Okay, so the next task we need to do is to allow um, this uh, SSH protocol through our Windows firewall. So go to Control Panel, um, and this is the machine um, that we gave the IP address for before, so 192.168.100.3. Click on Windows Firewall, allow a program or feature through. Uh, scroll down, uh, click Change Settings, and then scroll down in the list until we find SSH. Okay, there's a couple of them there, not sure why. Uh, click on one of them uh, and allow it through Home and Work and Public Networks. And we're done. So the next stage is to actually configure the phone. So we need to make sure we've downloaded uh, a couple of applications from the Android Marketplace. That's ConnectBot and Android VNC. They're both absolutely free, um, and you just need to download them from Marketplace, and then you can get going. So away we go, and we'll start with ConnectBot. That's the first thing we need to use. Okay. So click on ConnectBot, bring it up, and it'll ask you to type in uh, some details of the host you want to connect to. So the username part of this is the username you use to log on to the PC you want to connect to. So in my case, Dave. The bit after it, um, where I'm typing in djkitchen.dindns.org, that is, uh, in my case, the dynamic DNS um, address, external address of my router. Uh, it could be an IP address if you've got a static IP address. Once you click OK, it will then connect, ask you to type in the password, which we'll do. And this will just take a couple of seconds because it's quite hard work on the uh, the soft keypad. And once you see that screen from Mobre SSH, you're sorted. You're ready to go. Okay. The next thing we will need to do is actually to forward a port. Okay. So that um, our uh, port 3389 on our phone is forwarded to the VNC port 5900 on the PC. Okay. So this is how you do it. So we're back into ConnectBot. We press the menu key on the phone and then um, press the uh, add port forwards and then add another port forward and it'll ask us to put the details in. Okay, add port forward, there you go. And uh, you give it any local nickname you like. The type is local. The source port is 3389. So that's the port that we're on locally. And the destination is 192.168.100.3, which is our PC we're trying to connect to, colon 5900, 5900 being the port for VNC. 
once we created the port forward that's it we're done for that part we can then go um, to Android VNC and we can use Android VNC to actually connect to our PC okay so we'll bring up the configuration for Android VNC turn it around the password in that box is the password um, for the uh, VNC server with connecting to local host port 3389 click connect and we'll just have to wait a second and there we go we're into the PC you can see we can scroll around we can close windows but essentially we've done it okay that concludes today's recording from that ICT site .com. in this video we've looked at how to access your PC from your Android mobile phone using an SSH tunnel and a VNC application. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll see some of our videos again in the future.